channel <laughs> anyway so guys I went on Instagram and I asked you guys if you'd like to see a video a makeup video tutorial and most of you said yes some of you said no and I'm like who that most of you voted for natural look I know most of you like natural look I've, I've, I've realized that because when I post a natural look on my on my on my page you guys like 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 and then I post like a dramatic look and I just get one like and I'm like where's everybody at anyway so most of you that voted natural look is um, Nashi Koto uh, Siri Maija um, uh, Dina Hamu Tenya natural look Geraldine Lombard dramatic I know girl like once I did Geraldine Geraldine's makeup she to look nice. no 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 put on just put just put more put 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 and when I asked uh, if people actually watch my videos some people said no girls you need to start watching my videos come on support Namibian man Porsche Martin voted no Urs Ursula voted no Erika Paulino voted no <laughs> Why? 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 Okay. Um yeah, and then who voted dramatic? Virginia Kakwali voted dramatic. Um oh Ursula voted natural. And then uh, Maria Kapunda voted natural. Yeah, there were a lot of you guys, so I just took a, a few screenshots. Oh, Nanjila, my bestie, I love you and I miss you so much. Come back, please come back. Come back to me. Uh, most of you said you wanted to see a natural look. I don't know if this means natural to you, but this is natural to me. But anyway, I want you guys to let me know. Let me know what is natural to you. What, what do you consider as natural? Let me know in the comments below. What do you want? What do you want me to teach you? What is natural for you? Because to me, an eyeliner is probably is natural. Maybe to some of you may not be natural. Red lipstick is natural to me, but some of you may not be natural. So I want you guys to let me know specifically what you want to learn. Um, so yeah, this is the look I did. At some point, my camera switched off because the battery was low. So um, I think the step of the lashes, I did not include them in the tutorial. But if you would like to learn how to apply lashes, because it's something that's really tough to do, um, let me know on the description on the not description on the comment below and let me know if you <laughs> if you would like to learn how to do that. Guys, I'm not naked. I'm wearing like a, a shirt shirt on and yeah guys thank you so much for the support um don't forget please like subscribe please please are able to see more of my videos um guys if you want to see if you if you don't want to miss any of my videos do um click on the that little bell over there so if i upload new videos you'll be notified if um you will be notified Okay, so do um, click on that button over there. And yeah, that's it. So let's go to the tutorial. Tutorial, 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 tutorial. <laughs> this one. I use hazelnut. It's warm. It's. I think the only problem with this foundation, it's not thick. It's kind of watery, so you have to apply more, a little bit more than nor normal. Uh, my foundation the little tube is in there somewhere I cannot see it but it kind of detached from the little head or the little whatever and now I have to use a a uh, brush to kind of get a little bit of the foundation out okay ghetto <laughs> I know whatever okay so I'm just gonna apply on the areas look my skin is breaking out my skin is going crazy don't ask me what's happening i don't know i really don't know but i'm having a lot of de de decoloration discoloration decoloration on my face and i have no idea what to do so guys if you guys have any idea what i should put on my face please help i need help my skin is going crazy i have dark circles around my eyes so i try to like cover up as much as possible 
so i take a little brush this brush is a little dirty but whatever it goes on my face anyway so i'm just gonna apply in the areas where i have a lot of decoloration on my face um see it's a it's a little watery so it doesn't really cover much if you have really good skin um, this is the type of foundation you can use and if you don't have if you don't like looking bakey or um, if you don't like looking like you've applied too much or whatever this is the foundation you can use because it's not thick it doesn't look like your face is overdone okay so apply all over your face guys I just feel like my forehead is the only area that actually finishes all the foundation because my forehead is so big like bless my soul i feel like you should apply this with a with a brush that you apply the foundation with so that the highlighting doesn't look too harsh on your face you're supposed to blend it so it doesn't doesn't have harsh lines on your face so it doesn't look like this so it doesn't like so the person doesn't see that the highlight is here like it's supposed to blend it you know what I mean most you just blend I cannot stress how magnificent this black opal uh, neutral light is it is very good I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna say it's cheap it's not cheap I think it's like this thing costs 400 and something dollars but look at the bright side you can stay with this for a whole year or even two because it's a powder that you don't really use much you're just used to like instead of just wearing your foundation you can, with the highlighting it just looks so much different doesn't it like damn my face is coming through man so they're saying now if you like a girl you better take her swimming first guys makeup is what approved now there's no way <laughs> so you will blend 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 apply a little little tinky licky 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 little bit um so you can apply on the areas where you highlighted this helps the highlighting to kind of just um not crease if you don't know what creasing is it means that when you're walking in the sun and then the, the foundation starts boiling and then the foundation starts falling off and it starts looking like it's about to drop on the floor you apply it on the areas where you highlighted don't apply too much okay I know that most of my followers do not like natural don't like like overdone makeup because I've realized when I put like um, natural looks on my on my page it's like everyone likes it and then when I put like super like exaggerated makeup I just get like one like and I'm like dude you know how much time I spent on that shit <laughs> okay just apply a little bit on the areas on the lower areas so you just apply on the areas where you have highlighted I don't like making my nose look too thin because I have an African nose and I just feel like I shouldn't make it too thin because uh, I like my African nose if you know what I mean but if you guys would like to see how I how you can uh, because I know a lot of people a lot of you guys like making your nose look thinner if you guys would want that if you guys want that let me know in the comments and then I'll do it for you okay but me personally I don't like thinning my nose too much so before you dust off the the powder that you applied on the areas where you concealed you can go ahead and contour your face I use powder to contour my face especially I don't know if you guys noticed but 
if you look at my uh, pictures on Instagram, I do not really like exaggerated makeup, especially on my day to day. I just feel like, why? Why put on eyeshadow now? Why? I'm just going to work. Oh. So I just, I, I like natural, a natural look, just a natural, normal look. And in most cases, I do not use powder to uh, contour my face because I do not like looking too cakey. I don't. So I prefer using a lot of powders on my face instead of foundations. Okay? So let us contour. And there you have it guys I'm gonna start off with our brows I am just gonna comb it out like that I have very they're not bushy but they're like my brows are like all over the place they grow like this like little I don't know what you call them so I first obviously have to brush them out so they can I can put them in place I use this pencil guys literally you can use any pencil you like I just feel like the guys that sell in the streets those brown pencils they're like the ish they're not too creamy they're they're nice I like I like buying pencils from the guys from the street because I just feel like they're super pigmented and they're really cool so expensive is not all that okay so here I comb it up so it looks like it's little hair I don't really fill in the whole brow so it doesn't look too superficial you know I still like having this little gaps in between okay and then uh, I take the same concealer that I used to um, highlight my face just put a little bit on the area where they put a little bit on this brush here I like using this brush because it's super thin and you have a little bit of control you have a you have control over where you're drawing okay so I just go ahead and clean up where I messed up if you haven't messed up just go ahead and follow the areas where you have drawn with a pencil a little bit more on the, on the brush just a little bit guys you don't have to apply too much okay just a little bit just a little bit and then you apply up here just following also your the area just following also the 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 areas where you have drawn with a pencil you can go ahead and brush it out brush it upwards so you can blend the pencil with your brow And then you have and there you have your brows see I fucked up already it's not easy okay there you have your line there you have your line and then um, it's not easy drawing and filming at the same time Okay, so there you have your liner. 
Okay, so for now, I don't even have a uh, liquid eyeliner. My my liquid eyeliner is done. But there, this is how your eyeliner should look like um, on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side, so you guys can you can get the hang of it. I have super thick lips. That's why my lipsticks don't last. So uh, how have I lips? I am not gonna apply pencil because I just feel like pencil kind of takes away the the color of the lips, the lipstick, especially red. I'm just gonna apply it so my lips look a little bit more defined Drain my lips, but anyway, I think I kind of got it wrong. Fuck, this was supposed to be this side. Oh my god, 